I mean, I can't change people. <laughs> Pleasurism, <laughs> or how do you call it? Anyway. Plagiarism? Yeah, <laughs> I tried to say that. Okay, <laughs> so maybe. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hey, hello everyone, welcome to my channel again. My name is Dasha. This is introduce yourself. <laughs> Calypso. I'm from Russia and I study in Europe with Sidiljan. I'm a second year here and today I'm bringing you a first year. This video is going to be in English. I know that the majority of you are Russian speakers, but it's a good chance to practice your English listening skills. So feel free to leave comments in English and everything like that. But of course, I'm going to make subtitles for everyone to make it inclusive, you know. Today we're going to talk about the UWC application process because the, we know that the um, application process ha has already started. Um, has it already started? Like in Russia. Uh -huh. We start like in December. So we wanted to bring up some ideas, advice and tips for you and to just generally help you and get an like a sense of what UWC is. Hi, I'm Calypso and I'm from Greece. Well, I'm only like half Greek because my dad um, is Greek British and my mom's Greek Canadian. But yeah, I grew up in Greece and that's where I applied from. And now I'm going to UWC to the John with Darsha. How was it for you? Did you have like also stages? Because in Russia we do have like three stages. Of I mean, yeah like there were different stages like first like you sent your application and if they um thought like it was one of the good ones then they would like um take you to the second stage yeah which was basically like group activities and like interviews and also you had to like make a presentation um about like a problem that there is like like an actual problem and a solution or like an idea that you could have um, to fix it or something like that and then if you pass that then you would come again like from the other group as well because they were like divided into two groups like on Saturday and Sunday and um, so you would do like more group activities and more interviews. The last stage was just like an interview um, with the whole committee. So like 10 people interviewing one person? Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, the first. So, what advice would you give on like um, the first stage of application, which was like writing or kind of essay stuff? Because I think many people are uh, wondering how to do that, and everyone's super confused. Like, what should you answer? What should you not do? And we actually had one question, which was like, what would you not advise to do? Like, what are the main mistakes? Maybe you can think of those. Well, I didn't have many mistakes. No, no, like that's your mistakes, no, but generally yeah. what mistakes you, you think people can make? Okay, like I don't know about mistakes, like I think um, if you're just yourself and um, I mean the application is pretty straightforward, you just have to like answer and just talk about like your points of view or um, your experiences and try to like write a lot about like, don't just like answer it very like um, directly try to also um write like what you learned from this like for example i wrote that like one of the activities i did was like jogging and i mean this isn't about what i learned but i wrote like i really like this because it's simple you can do it anywhere and all you need is like your running shoes and that's it you know like i like the simplicity of it just like kind of explain um why you do things and like the meaning of them to like what they mean to you yeah can i add a little bit on that um i think being analytical in general is a good thing because you not only just show off what you do but you show like why do you do that and you kind of um like can use this opportunity the essays the small prompts that for example for russian application we had just like small prompts with like different questions like what would you change in your school or oh yeah we had that yeah <laughs> what what are you expecting from uwc the most like why are you a suitable candidate and stuff like that like just outlining your achievements would not probably get you in immediately but being like critical thinker and stuff like that and showing that is i think a great thing to do and the mistake might be not doing that and although you're like a great person you do a lot of volunteering and everything 
when it's like super competitive it it can be really hard to like stand out you can just show how you what you learn from it how this forms you as a person and generally like be a little bit more deeper than like the others that may help and I know like a lot of people just say like just be yourself and stuff like that and like for a lot of people it's difficult to be like okay but like what do you mean be myself yeah. I am myself but like just write what you truly feel you know mm -hmm. that's like what being yourself means oh and also like when you're writing an application like obviously like you shouldn't like brag or anything like that but like don't be afraid to like be like a little braggy like just actually like you have to put yourself out there you can't be like um oh i don't want to write that i speak eight languages because i don't want to be a show off like write that like that's important stuff you know so just put yourself out there and i think it also depends on like how you write that because if you just like write i speak eight languages period and that's like the entire essay that wouldn't work but like maybe i learn about other cultures through this this and this language that's how i learned them and that's how these languages are helping me to learn other people or like um explore other countries explore other cultures and stuff like that don't copy that that's gonna be <laughs> <laughs> plagiarism or how do you call it anyway. plagiarism yeah <laughs> like copyright i didn't say that okay. oh and write about like experiences that you've had like you know what like it doesn't matter like first of all they're not like gonna be judgy or anything mm -hmm. like if you say um, that like your family had gone like through a financial crisis or anything like that's important because it shapes you as a person even though like you might not have said that to like people randomly don't be afraid to say things like that because those are important like for like how they shaped you as a person and like be sure to like write what you learned though but interview is a huge part of the application and you can literally make or break it like Especially we have like the second stage as an interview and I guess you have it like the last. So do you have like a, how to behave during the interview or anything like that? Because I struggle to give any advice because, you know, <laughs> you just like come and then like wait till it ends and then like, oh my God, what just happened? I mean, I don't know. Like personally, like I also got a little nervous at the interview. Like my knees were like just shaking under yes, the same. table. Like remember, like just keep calm and like be yourself or like, just say like, okay, just like take a deep breath. It's like, it's okay if you just say, hold on, let me think. Or like, just take a moment to think about that. Like, okay, there's a limited time, but like, honestly, it would be better if you like took a second to think than to just like say like whatever comes to mind, which might not be good, that great, you know? Yeah. Or just like before like you do answer a question, um, think about what you want to like say out of it. Like if they ask you, um, I don't know about like sports you've done maybe you want to mention that you've done like I don't know if you've gotten like an Olympic gold medal or something <laughs> then like um be sure to like make it so that you can say that in the end like mm -hmm. or like yeah just like kind of twist the questions to what you want to say yeah I got this thought just now um I didn't do it but I think it's a good idea like if you said something and then you understand, wait, no, that's not what I wanted to say. I think it's okay to just like, hold on, I'm sorry, uh, let me rephrase myself. And then you state your point again in the like right um, kind of direction, the way you wanted it to, to say it in the beginning. Because like, I had this thingy, I, like, they asked me in the final interview, like, which country would I like to live in? And I was like, the US, just like without thinking. And then they asked why, and I said like, because of the political situation here and there and then it was like okay do you like the political situation in the US and you li don't like it in Russia like what's the problem can you elaborate and then I was like oh hold on and I kind of said like okay that's not what I meant I meant that the policies there uh, in, like imposed on the citizens are better more like towards the like flourishing of the uh, people rather than just um, punching them so I kind of tried to rephrase it because first like I just said what came to my mind I don't know if I'm making any sense but anyways <laughs> no yeah like but besides like they know like if they're like 10 people in a room interviewing like it's obvious that you're gonna be nervous like honestly if you're not nervous then maybe you're a robot <laughs> but, like, no seriously or very very confident which yeah, is not like, always like a cool way but they understand like that you're nervous and in fact like showing a bit that you're nervous like I don't know, might get them to like you. Because, you know, if they see somebody, like, who's 
helpless or something like people want to help them i mean not helpless. oh my god yeah I'm but not this they up. definitely don't make like it up that you're nervous or you're shy or anything if you're not yeah so a lot of people are wondering what were our extracurricular activities and which like kind of we showed to national committees and what impressed them so much that they um let us in <laughs> so i don't i will talk first a little bit about mine and then calypso will actually like Accurately, she application. accurately show what she wrote about them and of course i know you always want to know what other people have done who got in but it doesn't mean that you have to have the same stuff obviously especially now when you're like already applying do not worry about that you like didn't have enough volunteering experience or just generally experience just write about the stuff that is meaningful for you and talk about it as well um so many people might think that I had like applied with my NGO which is uh, not true because which is so impressive first of all, <laughs> which is not which is not true because I actually uh, kind of registered and like we started our work as an NGO only after I got in um, so it was like February March the only stuff that I applied with was uh, model UN which like provoked a lot of questions from the interviewers I did model UN, I did some volunteering with like vegan activists in my city, like organizing festivals and stuff like that. And I had like extracurricular kind of activity, I'm not sure if it's an activity, but I learned French for quite a long time out of the school. And also was just like into environment and everything, but I haven't done much, I was just like um, wondering about that, elaborating them. Okay, so um, one of the first questions was if we were like part of a team or something like in or out of school. I had um, scouts, um, tennis, um, school choir, paragliding, um, sailing and windsurfing, jogging, mathematics club, business and innovation club, psychology club, um, other like little things I had participated in like conferences, um, documenting a collection, uh, volunteer filming and things like that and those are really good because they help like enrich your application like it really shows that um, you're not just like um, getting good grades in school because they honestly like don't care that much about that like it doesn't it shows that you're a well-rounded person you know like you have many interests um, and you know like you just have like a well-rounded application and apart from that, like, I had a lot of, like, volunteer work, like, whether it was small things like picking up trash with scouts, like, from beaches, or, like, helping um, with refugees and things like that. Um, and then, like, there were other things, like, um, I was, like, student ambassador for Greece um, for Fashion Revolution. But, like, it's also good to, like, have one thing that you spend more time on and that you're really passionate about because... If you have um, a lot of things that you're doing, then it might also seem like um, you don't really know what you want to do. And they like, especially like if you're applying for a scholarship, like they want to know that they're giving their scholarships to somebody who's going to actually like do something with their life, that have a passion, a drive or something like that gets them going, you know? It's cool. Like, yeah, in like 10 minutes. Okay, guys, so we have a class in like 10 minutes, so we gotta go. <laughs> Um, thank you so much for being with us. Hopefully we can make more videos. Can we? Should we? What do we yeah! <laughs> Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you liked it. And yeah, and please, please, please leave your comments in whatever yeah, language you're questions. comfortable in. Maybe Greek because I'm learning that, so... <laughs> oh yeah, let's say goodbye in Greek. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs>